all kinds of news coming out of Macomb County. And uh, so we go right to the source. He always makes himself available. And Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle joins us. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Paul. Tell me how you guys are holding up with this whole Rizzo FBI thing. Well, you know, that, that's a great point. Um, I've been one that's always encouraged people to get involved and to uh, uh, to share their stories or their problems or if they see something, you know, much like the, uh, the 911 call I made about the drunk driver. We've always encouraged the public to be part of the solution. And here what we've got in Macomb County, uh, albeit the original situation, I'm not as familiar with uh, you know, what has been going on with that investigation. There has been a culture here in the county dealing with a couple public officials. I don't even need to mention their names. And I'm telling you, listeners are already in their head formulating uh, a personality or a person or two. And so I've been hearing this for the last six years, and I've encouraged people. Uh, because I'm no longer a law enforcement officer. I can't take it upon myself to do anything, but I certainly can pass information along, and I certainly can encourage people to do something. But I'm going to tell you, Paul, a lot of these developers, contractors, and builders are afraid. And, I mean, when you're afraid of a public official, something's wrong with government, and there should not be a fear of uh, getting your permits done or uh, you know having, having work done or projects are being delayed if you're not going to pay uh, to be part of uh, you know somebody's pack. Um, or go to somebody's fundraisers. And that's all I've been hearing for the last six years. And it's not just me. Everybody around this area has been listening to it, talking about it. So we've had to engage, uh, you know, law enforcement officials from the federal level. And uh, I've been more so now than ever is the time for people to step out because now people can rest assured that, uh, you know, you're going to have these federal agencies uh, not only with a watchful eye, but digging into finding out, okay, what is going on there? Because it's starting to come to fruition uh, some of these problems so this this pay to play which we had with one of our former mayors obviously uh is now there in macomb county and you think it goes beyond the uh, the gentleman who the macomb township trustee clifford uh, freitas uh, it goes beyond him absolutely yeah then i mean i'll be honest with you, I, uh, clifford I, I i know most probably every public official in the county and for the most part uh, i was I was surprised by that, uh, although, you know, listening to some of the uh, uh, information that has been passed along, you know, through the media uh, on the case, uh, you kind of say, okay, well, then something went wrong here, no question. Um, you know, Dean, I've you known Dean, that wasn't as much of a shock to many of us, but uh, to me, uh, that's just one case that is going on that's going to have probably, uh, you know, far, farther reach. You're going to see some more people uh, go down as a result of it, and, you know, there's a lot of rumors and speculation about it, but for the most part, there are some other issues that are much more compelling it's just the unfortunate reality for those that are in law enforcement. They're not getting that uh, that, that that one you know piece of information they need, or maybe they have it by now uh, to move forward on a couple other uh, public officials here in this county. Uh, that you know I, I've been very 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 disgusted by. I'll just uh, be extremely I, blunt about it. Yeah, I, I, it, it. It's a bad image for this county, and uh, you know they want to talk about you know the the former mayor of uh, the city of Detroit. Uh, but during that time, that's been talked about here in Macomb County, but nobody seems to want to come forward and i understand why they are afraid a lot of local public officials are afraid to take on uh this particular individual and the reason for it is is because he will put somebody in their race against them because he's got a pack of, of money that he gets from these developers and contractors and uh so nobody wants to say it nobody wants well, to take yeah, them out listen we had calls and i'm looking at ann through the glass and she'll remember one specific call from somebody who uh, had done business with the city of detroit and they said in order to get the contract for a certain line of work for the city of Detroit, they had to hire the mayor's father as a consultant. And I said, mm -hmm. well, is the mayor's father an expert in that area? And he goes, no, they just want me to pay him. And I go, oh, my goodness, you have to come on the air and tell people that. And he goes, I can't do that. I know. People I, are I, scared. I, 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 Paul, I've met people at Tim Hortons, Panera Breads. Uh, you know, they, they, I've been getting calls and emails from people. Some I know, some I w wasn't familiar with who they were, but they'd asked if I could just meet with them, and I did. And they share these stories with me, and they're telling me about what they have and the information. And I'm just going to be frank. A couple of them will tell me they've actually got video or, I'm sorry, audio tape of conversations by a couple of these public officials. And I'm looking at them, and I'm thinking, God, I wish I was the sheriff because uh, <laughs> you're telling me this. Now I'm going to move forward with it, but I've had to pass it on. And I'll be, I'll be very direct about that as well. I'm not going to be part of the problem. I'm going to be part of the solution, much like everybody else should be. And if they hear something, they know something, they need to step up because now is the time, and I say that for this reason. Seeing what's happening now that you see Barbara Quaid and Mr. Jellius uh, getting involved in some of the affairs and the issues that are going on here, they are very interested in information. 
because they are going to try to figure out how do they solve this problem, and they're going to get to the root of it. And so, you know, I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking I'm very encouraged by this, albeit it's embarrassing for the county. It's one of those things where you take a step back to take two steps forward. Uh, this is going to be embarrassing. It needs to be corrected. All right. and, uh, and, county and, Executive but, Mark Hackle here from Macomb County. Quickly, because we, we got to move on. But uh, So sure. you were a little shocked with Clifford Freitas. What do you mean you weren't that uh, shocked, not as shocked, when the Clinton Township trustee Dean Reynolds uh, was busted for uh, uh, demanding and uh, possibly taking bribes? The, uh, the conversations uh, that you've had with, uh, I should say that I've had with others, uh, you know, whether they're public officials and or uh, just other business people, uh, you know, you've heard of these type of uh, concerns. How and, many uh, How many more people do you think are going to be uh, brought into this thing? I don't know, but I'm going to say there's uh, there's two key individuals that most people are, are I guess, anticipating as being uh, a part of this and or other issues uh, come and uh, come down as a result of uh, their activities. So, would you mind uh, would you mind telling those of us who don't live in Macomb County who those two are? You know, it's interesting. I don't need to. I, I don't need to say it. Uh, I'm not going to say it. But uh, for the most part, uh, just by my mentioning, I I can already tell you most of the listeners that have an understanding of politics in Macomb County, whether they're in Macomb County or not. They've already formulated They've already a couple figured of names, it and out. that's what's embarrassing. All right, and the big uh, guessing game is, did Chuck Rizzo Jr. Uh, sign up to help the FBI on this thing a long time ago? I guess is uh, one of the uh, whispers out there. And that's how they sometimes get the information they need by the person that actually is the uh, the one who started this. So, And that's, uh, that's helpful. Yeah. All right, well, you'll get through this. I know uh, Macomb County has strong yeah. leadership in you. And uh, we'll talk to you along the way. We we certainly will not uh, define Macomb County by this uh, sad uh, bit of news. Yeah, I appreciate that, Paul. I don't I don't get the impression that it was the Rizzo company coming up with the suggestion of the wrongdoing. And so, um, so 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 let me get Mark Hackle, uh, Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle, back on the line. Mark, I'm sorry. The one question I didn't ask you was, and I and I said in my little preamble here. It's not it's not damning to say that you received money from Rizzo because all politicians have to raise money. They all hate it, but they have to do it. And many big, successful businesses contribute to politicians. But I guess it, it's only significant in the fact that uh, I, I just wondered if there was any kind of connection between you, your campaign uh, when you ran for Macomb County Executive uh, and Rizzo with any money. Yeah, you're 100% right. Unfortunately, some people that do contribute to your campaigns, uh, you obviously you're, you're welcoming the donations, but if there's a quid pro quo, uh, that's when you had better not be taking money from anybody that's questionable. So uh, campaign donations do come in, and I think probably Rizzo has been to many different public officials, uh, if you will, um, parties. And uh, when they do show up, the question becomes, what is their purpose of being there? So this particular situation, knowing now that they are questionable as far as the reputation, any public official who has gotten money from them recently, uh, I would suggest they return it and send it back, which is what we have done. Uh, but for the most part, any question as to whether they had given us that money for a purpose, meaning uh, you give us a contract and uh, we'll give you some money, that's a problem. But showing up at somebody's fundraiser, giving money, uh, you know, again, that happens quite often. So, you know, yeah, they, they've been to my fundraisers, and uh, they've showed up. They have donated. And uh, most recently, as a result of this situation happening, we have given our money back. So I'm not sure what others have done, but for the most part, uh, they're a questionable, reputable uh, firm right now, and I'm not about to uh, take money from them. All right. That was clean and simple, and I'm glad that you responded so quickly uh, to our uh, question regarding that. Dick Hafner, do you have any questions? You're sitting right here with me. I do. I do. Uh, Mr. Hackle, have you have Good you morning. been hi? Have you been questioned, or have you made statements to any federal investigators about this investigation? No, not this at all. Yeah, I was actually surprised that there was uh, there was an issue dealing with the uh, Rizzo contracting. So this one this was new to us here in Macomb County until the very first situation with Dean Reynolds. Um, I don't know that anybody really knew this was coming about, um, but those that probably gotten involved in taking bribes for contracts. Okay, and you haven't been contacted by the federal investigators? No, not for this particular case, but I've had contact with them at my prompting on other situations that happened. Other situations that yet are yet to be announced that are going to be another shoe dropping or what? Uh, just, you know what, providing or passing along information to them. 
uh, about situations that uh, have been brought to my attention by builders and contractors. Okay, not not surprising considering your law enforcement background as the sheriff for a number of years there. Oh, I, I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, again, <laughs> yeah. that's, you know what it does, uh, uh, Paul and Dick, is it does this. It opens the door for people to say, okay, you know what, there's somebody we can go to that we know might lead us in the right direction. So that's why I say that. People say, you know, well, why why are you saying that you're actually uh, uh, passing information along or talking publicly? It's no different when I was a sheriff and I told people, see a drunk driver, call 911. You know, if you, if you see something happening in the neighborhood, report Say something. It to us. If you see something, say something. Say something. It goes right. for all well, walks well, of life, all areas. You're absolutely and, and, right. And shame on any public official who hears something, knows something, and isn't passing that information along. Well, you're absolutely right about that. In fact, they're going to get themselves in big trouble if they knew about it and didn't say anything in their position. Agree. All right. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, Paul. Thank uh, you. Uh, Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle. So we got the rest of the story there. He, like so many other politicians, uh, have received money from the Rizzo company. He decided to just give it back. Paul 